Welcome to the paint party. My name is Laura and I will be your guide for today's painting, which is a festive Christmas sweater to get you in the holiday spirit. If you are painting along, check out the description below for all the supplies you will need. Pull up an easel and let's get painting! Using a sharpened pencil with an eraser, draw the outline of the sweater first. Feel free to make it as big or as small as you like. Draw a large rectangular shape for the body with a sloping elongated rectangular shape for each sleeve. Add the cuffs, collar, and hem at the bottom. Draw four tiers of triangular shapes with a zigzag pattern running along the bottom of each tier. Draw a rectangle on the bottom for the trunk and top it with a star. Add a horizontal stripe underneath the tree. Once the sweater has been sketched, it's time to paint. For the background, mix a large scoop of titanium white with a large scoop of cobalt blue. Add a small drop of chrome yellow for a turquoise or teal color. Add a drop of water to loosen up the paint and wipe off the excess. Using a 1 8 inch round brush, outline the sweater. Make sure to wipe the excess paint from the tip of your brush and hold it like a pencil as you steady yourself on the canvas. With the sweater outlined, switch to a larger flat or bright brush to fill in the rest of the background. You may want to use a half inch bright brush around the edge or any smaller areas before moving on to a three quarter inch flat brush. While you are working, the paint should slide easily across the canvas. If it needs a little help, mix a bit of water in with the paint or periodically dip your brush in the water. Either way, make sure to dab or wipe off any excess paint or water before painting. With the background finished, clean your brush and swap out your paint water. Wait for the canvas to dry before moving on. Use a 1 8 inch round brush and red paint to outline the sweater. For now, you can ignore the collar, cuffs, and hem. Continue to use the 1 8 inch round brush and bright red paint to outline the outside of the tree and the stripe beneath it. Continue to use the bright red paint to fill in the sweater around the tree and the stripe. Start with the 1 8 inch round brush for any smaller areas before moving on to a half inch bright brush to fill in the rest. is a little see-through, a bit of white may be added, or you may wait for the paint to dry before adding a second coat. Clean your brushes, swap out your paint water, and if needed, take another dry break before moving on to the tree. For the tree, use a 1 8 inch round brush to mix a scoop of phthalo green with a scoop of titanium white. 
Add a drop of water to loosen up the paint, wipe off the excess, then hold your brush steady as you trace and fill in the top tier. For the second tier, mix a scoop of phthalo green with a scoop of chrome yellow for a lime green color. Use the 1 8 inch round brush to trace and fill in the second tier. Continue to use the same brush and paint to outline the collar. Fill it in using the 1 8 inch round brush or switch to a half inch bright brush depending on the size of the collar. Continue to paint the tree with a new shade of green. Rinse your 1 8 inch round brush and mix roughly equal parts phthalo green and cobalt blue for a blue green color. Add a drop of water if needed, wipe off the excess and trace the outline of the third tier. You may fill it in with the same brush or depending on the size of your tree, you may wish to switch to a larger quarter inch round brush. Use the same blue green color and 1 8 inch round brush to trace and fill in the cuffs at the end of each sleeve. For the bottom tier of the tree and the hem of the sweater, clean your brush and mix a large scoop of phthalo green with a small drop of bright red. Be careful not to add too much red or you will end up with brown rather than dark green. Use the 1 8 inch round brush to trace the bottom tier of the tree and hem of the sweater. Fill in each section with the same color, switching to a larger brush if necessary. If needed, add a small drop of white to make the paint less see-through, or you may add a second coat after the first coat dries. Clean your brush and mix together roughly two parts burnt sienna to one part titanium white. Add a drop of water to loosen up the paint, wipe off the excess, and use the tip of the 1 8 inch round brush to trace and fill in the trunk of the tree. At this point, you may want to swap out your paint water once again and of course make sure your brushes are clean. If you are taking a break and feel inclined to post your work in progress to Instagram, please feel free to tag me at tinyartwork so I can see all your wonderful work. Using the 1 8 inch round brush, mix two parts yellow oxide to one part titanium white with a tiny little drop each of burnt sienna and bright red. This gold color will be used for the star, stripes, and ornaments. Wipe the extra paint off your brush and trace and fill in the star. Use the same brush to paint two sets of zigzag lines on the end of each sleeve. If the gold doesn't quite stand out against the dark red background, Add more white to the paint and add a second coat. If you have a skinny stripe under your tree, continue to use the same brush to fill it in or you may use a quarter inch round brush or the edge of a half inch bright brush. For the ornaments, use the 1 8 inch round brush, flip it around and dip the handle in the gold paint. Tap off some of the excess before adding the ornaments to the tree. Gently press down on the tree and move the handle in a small circular motion before pulling straight away. Add as many ornaments as you like. With everything filled in, it's time for the outline. 
Make sure the canvas is completely dry before using black paint and a skinny round brush to trace along each section of the sweater. Alternatively, you may use a super fine tipped black marker. If you are using paint and a brush, add a drop of water to the paint to loosen it up, then twist and pull your brush across the palette to wipe off the excess and bring it to a point. Depending on how fine you want your outline to be, you may use a 1 8 inch round brush or a 1 16 inch round or liner brush. Hold the brush close to the bristles and steady your hand on the canvas to trace along each section of the sweater, including the star, trunk, and each tier of the tree. For the collar, add a curved horizontal line across the top to indicate the opening. Add a few vertical stripes to the collar, cuffs, and hem. For the ornaments, trace along the bottom left curve of each circle. With the outline finished, Clean your brush and swap out your paint water before using the 1 16th inch round brush to add the highlights. Gently pop in a stroke of white paint on the top right section of the star and the top right section of each ornament. And that is the final detail based on our reference. Feel free to add any other details you like, but the final step is, of course, to sign your name. Take that skinny brush in your favorite color, sign or initial the bottom right corner, or use the Sharpie on the side or back. Either way, take credit for your work, and if you are inclined to post to Instagram, please feel free to tag me at Tiny Artwork so I can see your wonderful masterpiece. I hope you had a great time and will join me again. Until then, happy painting!